The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. From Betty Boop collectibles to gas station signs and much more, the Toys for Boys shop in Park Rapids has it all. For this week's In Focus, Armel Meyer took a stroll down memory lane to look at Americana culture. Nan, she got a customer. Dick and Nancy Rutherford have seen the sign. A lot of them. I just like junk. <laughs> it all started when they bought a trailer full of Betty Boop shirts over two decades ago. Now people far and wide. A couple of years ago we had people from seven foreign countries here. Come to drop Boys, in please. to see what they have. I have the largest Friday within about 1,300 miles of our store. The couple went to a Las Vegas trade show for more of the iconic cartoon character shirts and ended up expanding their collection. They then opened the store in 1997. We just branched out from that, from Betty Boop to signs, and it just kept growing. <laughs> the signs on the exterior of the building are authentic, and many on the inside are as well. Upstairs, most of the hanging American artifacts lay waiting until someone picks them up. I'd have to have about 30 bucks for them. $30? Yep. Yeah. Dick says from time to time he'll research how much some of the items are worth based on their age, style, and condition. Here's a, a Wisconsin truck from 1933 that's just about perfect. Sometimes he'll get lucky. Yeah, I've got some Elvis Presley ones that are, are quite rare. For Nancy, her favorite is hanging in the store, but as she says, she couldn't possibly put a price on it. I've got a Betty Boop quilt, doll quilt, from the early 1930s. But even if some of the more pricey pieces are out of reach. This one here is older yet. It's a Coke machine. It will sell for about $3,000. The trip down memory lane might just be worth it. I had one when I was seven years old and I always wanted another one. I was in Wisconsin and found both of them in Wisconsin. In Park Rapids with this week's In Focus, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.